Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. Uh, you always hear on uh, the YouTube preparedness channels about uh, getting a group or having a community on how important that that is in, you know, SHTF or uh, bad times. And I wanted to elaborate that on a little bit. Well, who who are good people to know? And uh, I have come to the conclusion over the years, there's certain individuals that you should know. Now, when I say a community or a group, community can be made up a lot of different people. The people that you um, hang out with aren't necessarily the people that will be valuable to you if, uh, if something bad happens. You have to have a broader um, net cast and know different um, people that have different skills, have different knowledge and uh, things. Because a lot of times you might just need advice. You need just a small, you know, a small bit of advice in uh, one technical field or in one little information gathering session. You might just need a small bit of advice to fill in a piece of the puzzle that you need to complete your decision making process. And uh, the people that have come in handy over the years to me are a combination of all kinds. There are people that I'd sit down and have a beer with. There are people that are more or less um, casual acquaintances. There are people that uh, I've worked with. There are people that uh, have worked with me. There's just a large uh, group of people that I consider all in my circle where I can... Uh, gain information from whatever that um, situation is. And uh, the first one I'm going to mention here is a mechanic. Everybody should know a mechanic and not necessarily, they don't have to be like a certified mechanic. The shade tree mechanics are probably the best. And uh, everybody should have at least one person that they know that they can go to to find out mechanical advice because SHTF might not be um, a full total collapse situation. It might be some type of economic downturn where you're forced to fix your own car, your own truck, your own gear. And uh, you might have the tools and you might have the general idea how to go about fixing it, but you maybe need help with the diagnostic part of it. You might need help with, uh, hey, you know what, my, my car is doing this or that, or what do you think that this is? And they can say, oh, well, that's, you know, this part or that part, or maybe check this or whatever. Just those small little conversations can be literally worth hundreds of dollars worth of savings. And to go along with, um, mechanics, the next thing is what I like to call sort of your um, your home hard skills, I guess. And uh, what do I mean by that? Things like electricians, plumbers, um, furnace repair guys. These guys and gals, um, again, if you know them, you can call them up and say, hey, you know, you know, my furnace is doing this, or, you know, I got this wiring question. A lot of times, a quick conversation, if you have a little bit of know-how yourself, can point you in the right direction and can streamline um, things that you can do yourself. YouTube is huge for, uh, you know, fixing and do-it-yourself videos. And that's something else. Um, keep that in mind. Uh, well, technology still exists, if there is anything, you know, you can look things up online now and then, of course, go ahead and document that. Um, another thing is, is if you have major industries in your area, like for me, it's farming. Farming is a huge industry. The farmers tend to know different things that are going on in, you know, different things like the price of fertilizer or what the commodities market is or how things are going with spare parts and equipment, all things that are vital to the economy of this area. So if you have a major industry like farming is here, it's good to know a couple of people in those industries where you can get find out information on how things are affecting your local area. That stuff can be extremely valuable. Another thing is people that work for local governments and uh, could be anything. It could be anybody that works, somebody that works at the county courthouse, police, firefighters, 
any type of road commission, any type of public um, worker, somebody that works for the public, can be extremely valuable to get information from. And like I said, it doesn't have to be, you know, a huge, long, long conversation. If somebody from the road commission says, hey, they're going to be doing work on this bridge down here, you're going to have to find a different way to go around. That can be extremely valuable information to save you time and money. So uh, medical people are another one. Um, and medical people are kind of 50-50. There are certain people that work in the medical field that'll be more than glad to kind of help you out. But then there's some that they don't want to get uh give bad information out so then there's there's a sort of a 50 50 some people you're more likely than not to get advice from and then there's other people that are in the medical field that won't talk to you at all about that kind of stuff so that's another thing to keep in mind you're going to have to press the flesh to a certain extent extent to um find out who will share information with you and that's good to start now to start ahead of time you know strike up conversations whether you're at church or garage sales or local community functions um, people have certain interests you know people go to um, different festivals and flea markets and uh you'll start to run in if you start frequently frequenting these places you're going to start running into sort of the same people over and over again people that you maybe have done business with and uh, then you can start kind of building your network on top of you know your close circle and your close-knit group you're going to build that information network and that uh advice network that can literally save you hundreds of dollars um, in the long run. So anyway, keep that in mind. Those are some important uh, folks that uh, if you have in your area, they're good to know and uh, they're good to find. But anyway, this is Modern Refugee. I appreciate all my subscribers out there. Hope you guys got a little information, a little entertainment, something to think about as always out of my uh, video here. And you guys have a good one.